tragedy. For some of us, it's an opportunity to come together and show what puts the human in humanism. And for some, it's a chance to gloat. Because this week, I want to talk about where people's thoughts and feelings really lie, specifically with regards to the Manchester bombing two weeks ago. Now, as you know, this took place at an Ariana Grande concert, and it was an attack on a lot of things. It was an attack on Western values. It was an attack on the British people. It was an attack on the enemies of ISIS, but it was also an attack on women. And while the zealots love to trot out how much better the West treats its women, that's not much to brag about when the other guys won't let us drive cars or flaunt our cheekbones. But let's put that claim to the test and see how much better the West handled this. First up, man of the bucket, Jim Baker, made sure to blame the victim, saying, quote, they literally invited these kinds of things to happen. They almost cursed themselves with this concert. I tell you what, God's not going to put up with this mockery. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, end quote. And as monstrous as that is, it does make you wonder what Baker thinks God has been missing about us for the past few years. I mean, how the hell hasn't the omnipotent guy heard of podcast? But Baker wasn't the only one. He was joined by good old Teddy Shubat, who chimed in from his ever more pathetic webcam background to let us know that he thinks all the dancing and nakedness pretty much painted a willing target on the victims, often bare, backs. He said, quote, the people who died, the people who were injured, the people who were scared out of their minds, who ran away screaming, I really don't care. They go to these concerts dressed up as horrors, dressed up as sluts. They're pro-sodomite, they're pro-divorce, they're pro-infidelity, end quote. And if you're inclined to pretend that isn't biblically accurate, have at it. But I'm thinking the problem is less in the interpretation and more in the book. No way to misread Huck Finn as a call to exterminate the whores and sodomites, I guess. But it wasn't just religious leaders. Cumfield t-shirt attached to a human Mike Cernovich decided to continue to muddy the definition of human being by tweeting a picture of Ariana Grande with the captions, I hate Americans, I hate America, which is something she did say offhand to a friend about American consumerism. But context or no, a cavalcade of conservative voices decided to get in on the action, including David Duke. Because any forward-thinking Twitter meme that doesn't get an endorsement from the Dukester, and with the confidence that the well has done a perfectly good job of poisoning itself, I'll hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. 